Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well and today we're going to talk about the crazy stock market a week ahead. There is some big earnings coming out. We are entering peak of earnings season. Last week was pretty much the busiest week so far, but even this week is going to overtake last week because there's going to be plenty of companies reporting earnings. Uh, some that I won't mention about because there's that many reporting earnings, but it's fair to say you'll at least have one company that you own reporting earnings last week, or more than likely you will. If you don't have a company reporting earnings next week, then I don't know what you own, but wow, um, you'll have to let me know. You might only own like five stocks or something, but there's a lot of the big names reporting earnings. Um, last week was um, a little bit busier. I think the standout one that stood out last week was Snapchat. Snapchat was up 23% on the day, uh, on the Friday, uh, which is really, really good. The earnings were pretty strong for Snapchat. Snapchat. The reason why they were so strong is like, the, we are getting onto a point now where we are kind of going quarter on quarter of like CV numbers now, which it, for a lot of companies are gonna be the really hard numbers to beat. But Snapchat did a very good job. Um, so yeah, if we the big thing for here is um, they still lost a lot of money, but um, it was the daily active users and the revenue per users they were actually making, which was the big standout thing for Snapchat. And this is the big thing sometimes about earnings and people don't actually realize this with like earnings, is that what can happen is a company that's in the same sector of, as yours that reports earnings, people will judge that on how the other companies are gonna do. And because Snapchat reported really good numbers, what we also had is a company that I do own, which is Pinterest, and um, you actually saw like, this is one that I own that was actually up uh, you know, 5% on the day uh, as well. And that had a really good day because of the Snapchat, er Snapchat earnings. And sometimes it's what happens, people look at these sort of companies and kind of think, okay, what could this mean for this whole sector? Because a lot of this whole sector as well, you gotta remember they brought that new iOS update out as well, uh, which people were a little bit worried about. And uh, yeah, that led Pinterest to have a very good day. And also another one as well, Facebook. Facebook had a good day, up 5%. And uh, for a one trillion market cap company to move 5%, that's a lot of money coming in. Um, so yeah, that was really good. Um, I think that puts me now at the moment um, in one account, 110% up on Facebook and in the other account, 80% uh, up on Facebook. And I think on the Pinterest, we are now like 220% on that one. So yeah, these two are performing very well. Uh, but very good from Snapchat as well. I am really surprised about these guys because I looked at this company um, at the same time I was thinking about buying more Pinterest and Facebook, which have done really well. But Snapchat has done phenomenal like over the course of the last uh, year. Uh, it's gone up really well. And I generally thought this was a kind of down and out platform really. I thought that they were really gonna struggle with like Instagram there um, and I thought Pinterest would still do very well but Snapchat, I was like, I can't see it doing that well and um, it's proved me wrong. This was a company that I did doubt for a little bit and um, yeah, it's had a very, very good year. Um, so yeah, very good if you've got some Snapchat shares but also very good for my Pinterest shares and Facebook shares as well, um, which was really good. But anyway, we'll get onto the stocks that are upon earnings this week. So. Uh, Monday, probably the most quiet day for me, but still some big names here. Um, obviously the big one that kind of stands out to me straight away on the Monday. And um, it's weird because I'm sure Tesla has, I can't even remember last time Tesla reported on a Monday. Normally I'm sure they always report um, midweek. Um, so yeah, but yeah, Tesla reporting on, uh, on the close on Monday. So we'll see what happens there. Um, not really sure on these earnings. So we'll, we'll see. There's a lot, of, seems like a lot of pressure and negativity on Tesla at the moment. So yeah, um, we'll see what happens. And then probably, I don't own this company, which is Logitech, but this actually um, has a big impact on two of my companies, which is Corsair and also Turtle Beach. So it'll be very interesting to see um, what they say, how they are doing compared to a, a quarter over quarter with CV numbers. Um, it'll be very impressive very good to see what they're kind of saying if they're still growing if they're struggling for growth and that will give it that that'll be one of those earnings that could potentially like a snapchat which moves Corsair and Turtle Beach but I've got to say at the moment um Corsair at the moment is is so so cheap like um I just love the company at the current prices so yeah I will be checking Logitech's out just because of them too so it gives me a rough idea I believe Corsair and Turtle Beaches are actually next week so that's probably one to just keep an eye on um, and then we're going to Tuesday. Um, Tuesday after close is absolutely crazy, but we'll just go on uh, the open at the moment. So UPS, um, UPS is always a good one because you kind of see um, how the economy is doing with the amount of parcels that's kind of moving about, which is really good. Uh, General Electric, uh, 3M, uh, that's a, you know, a few people play that for a dividend play. Uh, Raytheon, JetBlue, uh, Waste Management. Waste Management is actually such a really good dividend stock. If I was just like a dividend investor, that would be just one that I would have in my portfolio. It's a, an easy little return on the share price every year and you get a dividend. It's a, it would be a very good one for a retire, uh, retirement portfolio for sure. Uh, but anyway, on the close on Thursday, um, the, uh, Tuesday, sorry, there's there's a little part of me thinking, 
this could actually be like a live stream you know we hadn't, we hadn't done many of them for a while uh, an actual live stream of all these earnings coming out because i look and there's just so many um so you got apple um currently don't own apple and um, i think it's a great company i have held it before i have made good money on apple but i don't own it anymore um so yeah we'll see what happens there apple is once again one of those companies that can uh, move a lot of companies as well um, because so many people rely on Apple so very good one to check out there AMD uh, was very close to buying this one uh, never bought it in the end but um, yeah we'll see what happens there Microsoft obviously you guys know I own Microsoft my gut feeling will be that Microsoft will actually go down after earnings just because it has been on such a good run it has been um, probably way overbought and I feel like uh, they're as well, they're trying to beat amazing earnings. So I can only see it being a bit of a bad earnings for Microsoft, but you know, we never know what happens. Earnings is 50-50, this is why I don't play earnings. Anything can happen. The stocks you think will do bad, do good. The things you think will do good, do bad. And even sometimes you have that point of view where actually companies report good earnings and they go down, and companies report bad earnings and they go up. So it's just, uh, it's a gamble. Honestly, you might as well go to the casino, you probably have a better chance of winning. So um, yeah, I, I'm not sure, but if, if you're, Force in my opinion on that one, that's what I would say. Google, these guys have been smashing earnings recently, so we'll see if that carries on. Obviously Visa, that's another one that I own, payment. Um, so yeah, that could potentially, uh, obviously gives a lot for MasterCard and potentially some other payment companies in there like Square, for example. Uh, TDoc, Teladoc, obviously that's a, a company that's a, a bit of a newer one to me. Um, I've only held that company for, I believe four months now, so it's quite a new company. Um, definitely not getting further down the long-term investing yet on that one um, and yeah it'd be just good to get a bit of an update from management how they're going because obviously going into this year big management have really sandbagged guidance and pretty much said we can't grow anything like what we've done previously because of how much has been pulled forward and we'll see if they've just played it too safe or if they're actually correct so that'd be a good one to watch and um, starbucks um yeah great company once again and um, you always see it starbucks is always busy aren't they um, especially I, I've noticed this a lot more like if I end up going to Starbucks at like 8 or 9 o'clock the amount of times I go now and I go oh we've sold out of this we've sold out of this it's actually crazy so um, yeah we'll see what happens there once again that's actually um, would that would be a, a big dividend contender if I was to have a dividend only portfolio um, yeah Starbucks would be up there and you know what even if it was it came to the right sort of prices and it had like a year or two years of like flatlining I'd actually then consider picking it up because I, I think it is a, a good company um, and then Enphase, once again, one that I considered a while ago, uh, never bought it, but yeah, uh, we'll see what happens with that one. Um, and yeah, that's probably it on the, on the uh, Tuesday after close, but you can see here there's a, a long list of companies that I'll be watching for sure. Uh, Wednesday, one, once again, Wednesday's actually a pretty decent day as well though. Uh, Boeing, obviously I sold my shares in Boeing two weeks ago now, um, so we'll see what happens there. Everyone, I think the thing with Boeing is everyone goes into Boeing's earnings going, yep, they're going to be awful. And Boeing can, Boeing is the company at the moment that can just get away with saying we're going to have awful earnings and the stock doesn't go down like they could be even worse than what's expected and people aren't bothered about Boeing um, it, it's just a it's just more of a, of a challenge of like how much money they're going to lose again so we'll see um, but yeah I'm glad I'm not in it anymore I'm looking at that I'm looking at the earnings whenever I saw Boeing earnings were coming up every time um, I was like oh here we go another, another quarter of losing a lot of money so I'm actually quite glad I'm not in it anymore to be fair uh, Shopify, um, oh this company has been on such a good run, I'm sure some of you guys own Shopify uh, but it's, it's done so well, I, I was actually looking at Shopify the other day, I can't even remember how much I'm up, I think I'm up like 45% on it, I was like oh, it's been on such a good run, big tech is, you know, Microsoft, Shopify, they're all at big valuation, even Facebook now, you know, they've all been on such a good run, big valuations, there's part of me looking at Shopify going, do I sell it, uh, I, it's something that I've been considering over the last few days and I just think like, I think on long term, I think it's, I don't want to sell because I know that in the long term, it's still, still going to be absolutely amazing. But when you've been, when it's gone up that quick, there's a little part of you that does think, well, it's, uh, is it time to take a, a quick W and uh, move on? I don't know. So yeah, I, I'm sure they're going to smash it. They'll, they always smash it anyway. Uh, Pfizer, uh, Tilray, uh, McDonald's. Um, once again, probably another decent dividend play. Spotify, I've seen a few people starting to play this one. A uh, few people getting into it. Personally for me, uh, it's not really one that kind of interests me that much, but yeah. Uh, Bristol Myers Squid, I've seen a few people playing this one for a dividend play as well recently. Um, so that, I'm sure that will interest quite a few of you guys. And then after the close on Thursday, uh, Wednesday, Facebook, uh, um, obviously the big problem with this one now is that it has got something priced in because of the Snapchat jump. Um, 
the big thing is now it is going on to earnings with a, an expectation of it being good earnings. So if the the earnings are kind of in line, you could see this actually fall a good like five percent. So um, yeah, I'm not sure what to think of Facebook now um, going into earnings. Beforehand, I would have said that, you know it has a good chance now because it's already had a jump because of Snapchat. I don't know. We'll see. Um, PayPal, had a great company, bit of a good run though, a bit of a too good run for me to pick up. Uh, Ford, should I say, I just totally skipped past Ford. Um, a few guys getting into that one now because of the, trying to catch up to the, the Teslas of the world, I guess, right now. Um, and yeah, service now, I guess, some of you guys might play that. Lamb Research, I think a few guys have started to play that one. And then uh, Thursday, um, we've got MasterCard before the open, uh, Overstock, Ultria, AstraZeneca. So a few of you guys might play them ones there. Uh, after the close, Amazon, so another company that I own here, um, I see I got quite a few reporting this week, um, so see what them guys do. Um, obviously, probably hear a bit more about management change. Fingers, fingers crossed, they announce a stock split. Honestly, if these guys are, are uh, announce a stock split, just like Microsoft, even though it, it doesn't change the company at all, it, it's just crazy. Like, you know, you look at Apple, Tesla, Nvidia, um, all of these three companies have announced a stock split and the share price performed amazing over the next three months before the split happened and um yeah it, no reason just that the shares are price uh, a cheaper price i guess uh adds no fundamental value to the company but um yeah the stocks just seem to go on good run so i'm hoping that they do announce a share split with amazon we'll see what happens because i feel like if they were to announce a share split then we would see another good run up in, and probably in fact if i'm being totally honest if they do announce a, a stock split um, and the stock does go on a really good run, I would actually end up probably selling um, after the stock split announcement. So yeah, just full clarity there is what would happen if it if that situation would happen. But we don't know. We, we've been saying uh, a stock split on Amazon for like the last two years now and it hasn't happened. But maybe seeing the likes of NVIDIA and Tesla and Apple with the success they've had. Uh, and um, yeah, maybe they'll do it. We'll see. <laughs> uh, I think, you know, if they were, if they were going to do one last time, um, I think maybe the announcement of Jeff Bezos stepping away, they thought, okay, let's just leave this for another quarter if they were going to do it. That might be why they kind of put it off. So I don't know. We'll see. I think I'm just um, just being a bit over over realistic here, I guess. Um, Pinterest um, Pinterest is, I believe, one of the most volatile companies on earnings. Um, I believe it used to be Tesla. And then after Tesla, it was like Pinterest and uh, Snapchat. I think those are the most volatile companies actually after earning. So yeah, expect uh, Pinterest to move for sure. Um, yeah, and then some more companies, if any of you guys are in these ones, uh, Gilead, Skyworks, Upwork was a popular one a year ago. And then first uh, Friday Friday on the open, a um, few of you guys might play ExxonMobil as a bit of a recovery play, Caterpillar, uh, P&G, Abviz, a pretty decent dividend play. Um, that was on sale a few, a few, I was going to say a few months back, but it would probably be about two years ago now. Um, so yeah, but yeah, overall, yeah, crazy, crazy weeks on earnings. I'm not even going to try guess how many companies I've got reported on earnings, but I would say it is quite close to 10. Um, so yeah, it's probably this week and next week will be the two busiest weeks for me for my earnings for sure. And I'm sure you guys have uh, some earnings, so we'll see what happens. I'm sure um, I'll at least be making one video on a company on this list after their earnings for it being a good reason, a bad reason, um, we'll see. And maybe as well, there'll be a buying opportunity out here. Maybe one of these companies, this is a great thing about earnings. It's great to see some of your companies do absolutely amazing and like the things you invested for, like playing out. But the other thing as well is that you might see some buying opportunities as well. It's a big thing you get with earnings season. So yeah, we'll see what happens. But hope that you enjoyed it. I hope it kind of gave you a little insight, ready for next week. It's gonna be busy. Um, let's hope it's a good one. As always, smash the like button if you're new, subscribe, and I'll see you next video.